Okay, here are the locking lugs for the bolt, and this is the front locking lugs, and this is the rear or the safety lug. And for this one, what I've done is I did the usual laminated paper with uh, super glue, and I also went ahead and drilled a hole through the middle and also cut a channel on each side. And all I did is just take a uh, decent gauge uh, paper clip like this one put it through and with a super glue obviously and then just hammer it flat so it's like a C clamp or just like a paper clip if you would take it sideways not paper clip, a stapler and take it sideways it'll look like that and then just it's basically securing it in place and that will uh, hopefully prevent uh, these papers from uh, splitting apart and the way you would secure or attach the lugs on a paper uh, bolt, I suppose, is uh, you don't want to. The easiest way would be to just glue the lug like so. And it's from an aesthetic point of view, I mean, that's perfectly fine. You can even put a crossbeam through it to hold it in place. But uh, if you're actually going to more functional um, bolt, you have to uh, secure the lug like so so all the fibers and the actually the layers will be perpendicular to the force so you have the force coming in like so and you want it perpendicular whereas you would have the force and the layers parallel which would cause it to split so here's a better uh, I suppose the description of what, what I was trying to explain is that you wouldn't want to attach a piece like so on the main base and basically stand on that. What you would happen is probably the thing would break off and you would fall to your death. Like so. Whereas if you would put and the grain would be running like so in the same direction. Whereas if you would take a piece off the notch right there and run the grain perpendicular to the grain, that creates more support and you wouldn't have to worry about it splitting from right there. You can jump up and down there no problem. That's how houses are built essentially, the good ones at least. So same idea, so that will go in like that. And I'll also cut some slots here in the front once I trim the bolt to the correct length and attach that. And maybe I'll have to put some cross pins to secure in place, but other than that, really, um, that should be able to withstand somewhat of decent pressure. Not of a real cartridge, obviously not, but as far as me yanking at it and such should be fine so that's that